Hello everyone. Let's create an application that demonstrates state management techniques. So basically, in ASP.NET, we have there are two types of state management: a client-side state management and server-side state management. So here in this application, I'll demonstrate you how to use cookies as a client-side state management. And session as a server-side state management. So let's design our application that is a login application. So this is a practical number three. Let's add a form. Let's say this is my login page. So let's take text boxes. checkbox and one button control center side br here everywhere and let's give the center tag so that everything comes in the center of the screen Change the IDs of this username, txt password, chk remember, and let's set the text property also to remember me. This is locked. So, we'll just design our page, a login page. You see the design view of it. It's a simple login form. Now, we'll just double click on this. We'll have to add the code for using how to use the cookies. Now, here, if we we'll check equals to true if this checkbox is true we need to set that username into a cookie variable so for that we need to take http cookies on cookie variable equals to new http cookie Okay, well, let's say username. Now add this value dot value so txt username dot text. Now set the expiration date for this cookie also. Right? Cookie dot expires is equals to date time dot now 
dot add days let's add for 15 days and set into the response object response dot cookies dot add variable so this is how we have set that value into our username value into the cookie variable now when next time when our page gets loaded so we need to see that username on the text box and the checkbox value must also get true so if it is not post back so find out the http cookie cookie variable is equals to request dot cookie my username now if this cookie variable is not equals to null show that value in a text box this is from the request object dot values and Check that to true. So here, when the next time when your page gets loaded, your cookie value get displayed displayed onto the text box, and your checkbox gets true. So let's check it. Execute this page. Main browser. So let's set this value. Alex, let's have some password. So I have not set a password value. So if I'll check this, click login. So this this is now set. Now when again I'll click on this run again run this particular page, you'll find this cookie variable value and the checkbox is true. So this is how we can use cookies. If you want to see the cookie values in a browser, you can just use this Firefox browser to see that cookie value. You'll see here on the local host. So you'll see here this value has been set into the browser as a cookie variable. So next application is let's use a session. Now here sessions can be used as a server side state management so let's put this into a comment now let's use a session variable now let's check if txt username dot text dot equals let's say mca and txt password dot text dot equals let's say mca then we can set that username into a session variable directly as equals to txt username dot text now from here if you want to redirect to the home page let's say create a home page add new item let's create a home page home dot aspx where we'll just display the cookie value here uh, or sorry, sorry, session value here. So let's take a label user and she let's skip it back. Now again, come to the login page. So here from here, I can do response dot redirect to my home dot aspx.
So here session has been a uh, value of a username has been set into a session variable and we are now redirecting to the home.aspx. Next immediate thing what we have to do on the home.aspx page load event we need to show that session value. So label.txt equals to session of that username dot to string. So in L label, it will display the session value that you have been set in the login page. So let's execute our first page login page. So let's check if it is MCA, MCA. Let's click on login. So you'll we'll see here. This is the home page and we have displayed the session value on the home page. So, thank you.